Atiku sent ex head of state religious leaders to beg Kokwanso to step down, says Buba Galadima. Now, wow, this is serious. So, and this is why uh, Atiku was able to say last week that he's in talk with Labour Party and NNPP, and uh, by, his, by the grace of God, one of them will step down for him. So, he's also working on the ground to get more votes. Okay, so it means that Kokwanso must be very stubborn and would not want to step down. Even when other party members are, are, are stepping down for PDP. Hmm. And this is why they are saying that the votes in the North, is uh, there is confusion there right now. Because even they say the North is split now between uh, Atiku and Peter Obi. Yeah, you know, the structure of APC is collapsing every day. Okay, so Atiku sent ex-head of state and other religious leaders to Ben Kukwansu to step down. Buba Galadima is revealing this to us now. Let's see what he has to say. A chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party NNPP, Buba Galadima, has uh, narrated how the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, sent ex-head of state to the presidential candidate uh, of NNPP, Rabi Kukwansu, to step down for him. Galadima, in an interview with the Trust TV said Kwakwanso will defeat Atiku in his polling unit. Can you imagine? He further stated that the former vice president also sent religious leaders to plead with Kwakwanso to support him in the presidential election. And according to Galadima, Atiku spent billions of naira to persuade the religious leaders to go and talk to Kwakwanso to step down for him. Billions of naira. Can you imagine? So uh, people are eating from a uh, so the way uh, Atiku is spending his money is not directly on the campaign trail. It's uh, more on trying to bribe individuals, to buy individuals from the back end. That is what he's doing. Billions. So he, actually, Atiku and Tirubu are the people holding the economy of Nigeria down because of their political interest. That is what I see from here. He said we will defeat Atiku in in Jada local government area of Ademoa State. Atiku is not in this race. Yes, on paper he is, but he is not a candidate. How would he win and through what would he win? Atiku is using religious leaders to appeal to Kwakwaso to step down for him. Atiku used former heads of state and prominent people to appeal to Kwakwaso. Atiku used traditional rulers, spent billions of naira to persuade them to go and talk to Kwakwaso to step down for him. Can you imagine? He used northern groups to try to manipulate and say that they, intervie they interviewed the presidential candidates and found Atiku to be the best. They know we know they could not achieve their vision. We are more northerners than them. Kokwanso is from north, from Kano and I am from Gashua. My village to the extreme part of the north is about 50 kilometers so i am more than them and i am older recently he atiku sent some three prominent islamic scholars to kukwanso's house to kneel for him and pleaded to step down we sent them away yes who are they we respect uh we respect that regalia but if they remove it we will ask small boys to deal with them can you imagine that their traditional regalia the things they wear on their body as traditional rulers can you imagine but if they remove those regalia they will tell small boys to beat them up to deal with them squarely so that is what buba galadima is saying how Atiku is spending billions of naira begging religious leaders and ex traditional ex head of state to go and uh, beg for kokwanso on his behalf to step down for him can you imagine what is happening there? And then they say they have the north. So Vuba Galadima is coming out to say all of this, exposing what Atiku is doing at the background to win the election. So so while uh, Tinubu is spending billions on one side, Atiku is also spending billions on one side. 
Unfortunately, people will follow them and collect their money and they will not win this election. Because the truth about Nigeria today is that people are tired of PDP and APC and want a new breed of politicians to rule Nigeria. And that new breed is the third force that the Labour Party has just formed. Thank God Peter Obi wisely left Labour, uh, PDP on time and joined the Labour Party at the time he did and now has raised the third force that all the presidential candidates are struggling to, to beat. Kokonso, even making noise in Kano, his influence is not beyond Kano. He's not going anywhere. That is the truth. He cannot get the vote he needs to rule Nigeria from Kano State alone. So even Buba Galadima is just deceiving himself. I'm sure they're all feeding fat from it and so they can say anything. Kokonso is not in any way even near Atiku and Tirubu and Peter Obi in this race. He's number four from just facial uh, review, from physical assessment. He's number four. So let's leave uh, them. They can be stubborn. They are made up of stubborn people. That's fine. Let them pursue their ambition. That's fine. Uh, but the truth is that they're going nowhere. And I let it not be that these people are just playing us too. At the dying minute, they will say they have risen it and they have seen that Atiku is a respected man and they do not need to punish him so much. And that is why they have decided to come down for him. They might do that in the coming one or two weeks. I will not be surprised as well. Because these politicians, they talk from both sides of the mouth. All of them A to Z. So <laughs> that is the way we see it. So let's see a few comments that we have here that people have uh, written down. Okay. Uh, somebody say the game doesn't mean that Kokansu will uh, uh, will step down for Atiku in the presidential election. No, but Atiku want to gain 100% Northern states votes to defeat Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. Obasanjo backing Labour Party candidate Peter Obi is pulling more weight every moment. That is true. That is true. So what uh, so what Atiku is doing is just to see how he can have the Northern vote hundred percent. Already he can make Northern votes now, but the presence of uh, Basanjo behind Peter B is pulling very serious weight everywhere. Somebody say you mean more. Wait and see. <laughs> okay. Somebody say this is the biggest fool I have ever heard of in Yoruba race. Are you living in the moon? Has Obasanjo has any electoral value in Yoruba land, all those of us just supported before, like Olurin, uh, Boyeka, Isiaka, Alaji Akimbade, Atiku in 2019, Iyabo, his daughter, none of them won the election. Obasanjo never won his polling vote for them. So in your mind, do you think Obi can win this election in the, in the whole world? Did you see any candidate without structure and network winning election with a mushroom ethnic party? I doubt if you are a Yoruba man. Can you imagine? So this person is now talking about Abbasanjo again, okay? Saying that Abbasanjo has no structure, Abbasanjo has no electoral value in Yoruba land. Okay now, make the time reach. Make the time reach, you will know whether Abbasanjo gets or not. Somebody say, be deceiving yourself there. Your Peter B won't win a single state in the north. Up there, he is only popular among the Igbo uh, Spepas dealers and their apprentices who are sojourning like the Fulaniest men there. They don't have enough numbers to win. <laughs> that is the narrative we are getting. Somebody say this election does not rest on party, but the candidate period. Yeah, you are the one deceiving yourself. Come to the north and see things for yourself. Don't imagine things from Lagoon City where the drug capoon rules. <laughs> that is another, another statement. Another statement coming from someone that's here. I would say not is free ride for everyone, including APC, LP, but LP strength lies south, south, and southeast. Southwest is 50 50 for APC and the uh, Labour Party. Okay, have the day eventually. Okay, the Labour Party had the day eventually. So your submission about Southwest as 50-50 for APCLP is extremely out of it. You must be online voters based on your analysis. Can you imagine? So if Atiku uh, think well, he will even suppose to step down for Peter Obi. That is true. 
if he's thinking well, he will he will he will step down for Peter Obi, just like uh, uh, Pa Ayo of Feni Ferre has advised Tinubu to come back home and step down for Peter Obi. Now that there is time that they will forgive him and they will welcome him, that is what they have told him. Okay, <laughs> I prefer Kukaso and Peter Obi than old BAT and Atiku, Mr. Sell All. That is it. How delusional can you be that Kukaso will win? Kukaso is actually far from winning. Extremely far from winning. That is the truth. So thank you for listening. That is what Buba Galadima is saying, a member of chieftain of the uh, NNPP, saying that Atiku is spending billion uh, sending traditional rulers, uh, religious leaders, and ex-head of state to go and beg Kukwansu to step down for him. That is what he is doing. Thank you for listening.